Hello and welcome back to the channel. First of all, I'd like to thank those of you who have liked and subscribed to the videos that I've made so far. I really, really appreciate your support and your comments. Please keep them coming. I make them if you keep watching them. Today's video I'm calling affectionately Pimp My Impact Mark II. Um, I wanted to talk to you about a couple of new additions I've made to my FX Impact Mark II, namely the Sabre Tactical Grip and Ambidextrous Thumb Rest, which is on the other side. I'll show you that in a moment. But first of all, I'm going to talk about the UTG Overbore Bipod. Now, let's talk about the bipod and give you the, the whole story as to why I went for this one in particular. So when the GRS bipod came out along with the announcement of the TRS rail, I was, I'm not going to lie to you, blown away by the images that I saw in terms of the TRS rail with the overboard bipod, the GRS one. Um, however, I was definitely shocked by the price of the GRS bipod and thought, you know what, if there's a lot of bipod there. Ideally, I'd like to get a bipod which I could uh, use not just from an overboard perspective, mounting it on a top rail. I'd like to get something that I could use as an option and mount it on a Picatinny rail underneath the rifle if I want to. Now, fortunately, I went, when I went to get the TRS rail from Sam Daly, Sam was fantastic. He's a top bloke. I've mentioned this before where in my FX uh, Crown Mark II with the GRS stock, that's where I got that from. I also had a look at uh, the GRS bipod there and I found that there's a fundamental design flaw with it which is unfortunate because it's a gorgeous bipod but the problem is that it's got ski feet which can only reside in a rest position or essentially they sit down on the ground flat when the bipod is mounted like this with its legs at 90 degrees. Now even though it's got multiple leg positions which it, it does you know, I've seen reviewers say, look, you can put the legs in different positions. The feet will not accommodate those different positions. So unfortunately, even though it's got a sp it's spigot mounted and you can take the bipod off um, at any given point, I just thought, what's the point of having a bipod that in fairness, you can only mount at 90 degrees you can't you can undermount it to be fair you can put it on underneath the, um on an under under rail on an under picatinny rail um but it only resides in one particular position and you can't adjust the legs which is such a shame so i left sam's and i went online did some research and i found this the utg overboard bipod unfortunately everywhere in the uk that i looked at was sold out and I went hunting at loads of different retailers that I, I know, asked them if they got any overboards, they didn't. So I ended up having to go onto eBay and purchased one from there, and it arrived today. And to be fair, I was a bit surprised that it went through eBay and I had to pay a customs charge, gulp, and, <laughs> but it arrived today. And I was really, really surprised because I wasn't expecting it, and I'm super happy that it has, because... This is some fantastic bit of kit. I mean, first of all, let me just quickly show you. It came with an instruction book um, with really nice colour photographs in it, telling you how to mount it and also giving you some description on some of the features like the panning and also the tilt and also one of the best features that I found was that you can adjust the legs in two different positions, as in they they rotate a full 180. So I can uh, essentially turn the legs and they can sit in a rest position against the rail here, or I can forward mount them. And that's by simply removing a stopping pin, which is underneath the um, bipod over here. So, yeah, it's it. I mean, I'm going to just very quickly give you a quick demo of the right, uh, the, the, the bipod and uh, bear with me because it means taking it off. And this at the moment, it's it's pretty heavy with all the Sabre tactical gear on it. Um, 
and the dual bottles and the scope. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. So, the first thing is, just to show you, it's attached to uh, a front-mounted spigot over here. And to simply remove the bipod, all you have to do is loosen this and watch there's going to be some panning i mean there you go some cant even coming in there so you can do that and then simply press this button over here now oh, this is where things get a little bit sticky press this button and you hear a define click and slowly but make sure the rifle's not in the way there we go. Off it comes. And here we have the bipod. So first of all, it's really well machined. Uh, simply by pressing this button, you can rotate the legs. And originally, I'll show you very quickly, it was in this position with the spigot attachment on this side. There is a small hole over here. Don't know if you can see it had a screw in it. I removed that stopping screw. So now the legs can rotate a full 180, which is great. So I can essentially store it like this if I want. Or store it the other way, like this. Which is great. Now I've extended the legs here, they're spring loaded. So there you go. And you simply pull them out, however much you want. Great. There's feet over here. I haven't messed around with these, so I don't know if you can take these off and put spikes on. You can lock the, the legs into place like this. But uh, yep, there you go. Overall, I think that's a really, really great piece of kit. Really well machined. You know, you can feel that it's a solid bit of kit as well. Solid bipod. And I'm just going to put it back on the rifle now. So this is going to be fun. On camera, lifting a quite a heavy rifle. Here we go. And then simply put it into the hole. And then you'll hear a define click. Come on. Where's the click? Let's try again. Remove it and then there we go. And then I'll just lock it into position like that. And it's back. So that's the UTG overbore bipod, which I'm super happy with. Super happy with. And the best bit is it gives me the option I can take it off this rifle and use it on. A load of different other rifles I've got. So I have choice and it's a quality piece of kit. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. Next bit of kit, which I added recently, is this. This Sabre Tactical Grip. And it's got a thumb rest, which is ambidextrous. Now, the two holes here uh, are where you can attach the thumb rest. I've attached it onto the other side of the rifle. I'll show you that in a minute when I turn the rifle over, <laughs> making work for myself. But one of the major things that attracted me towards this is, A, first of all, it's Sabre Tactical, but it's machined really well. It's it's gorgeous piece of, I think, anodized aluminium, but it, it, it's got a skeletal feel to it over here. The unfortunate thing is it doesn't take the bag rider at the moment. And I know that there's two different versions. One of them... The earlier version isn't compatible with a, a, the Maverick, and the second versions are, but all of them are compatible with the Impacts. The only problem is none of them are compatible with the Bag Riders, according to Sabre Tactical, but they're, they're going to be addressing that. That's what I heard. Um, let me turn the rifle over and show you the thumb rest. Here we go again. And there's the thumb rest. Now, I have emailed 
both Sabre th Tactical and I purchased this from Airgun 101 or Giles. So thanks a lot for for uh, for that. Um, I've asked them if it's possible to purchase another one of these because I would like to have one on this side as well. So I've got a thumb up position like this if I want or here like this or even if I wanted to basically just rest my thumb on the other side like that. I know that's a bit of a crazy thumb position, but sometimes I've done that on rifles just to get more of a delicate edge on onto the uh, trigger rather than more of a heavy handed, uh, uh, more of a heavy approach on the trigger. But this is something that from my perspective, I, I really want the option to have is this on both sides. Plus, I don't like the look of just two holes there. I think having this on both sides does accentuate the look and makes it more complete but from my perspective i'm really really happy with this and i'm super keen to trial them both out unfortunately i've not had the time to and i'm also really really mindful that by mounting an overboard bipod it does change the point of impact i've seen videos where the point of impact changes if you've got this trs rail especially if you've got this uh this clamp over here which i have got and at the moment the point of impact could change um compared to now if i use that and then switch to a bag um and so zeroing the scope is going to be interesting with just using this bipod if I find there to be an issue, I might remove this clamp over here and let the barrel uh, essentially free float again and then uh, trial it out and see what happens. But so far, visually, aesthetically, that is a beast. I mean, there is a lot of Sabre Tactical and the Donny FL Fat Boy over here in its entirety along with the dual bottle adapter, along with the arc rail, which I'm using as a hamster. Then you've got the grip. Then you've got the bench rest and the butt pad. I haven't got the cheek riser. That's potentially something I'm looking at getting, uh, depending on the price. And if the bag riders do come become compatible with this, I'd like to get one not necessarily to to bag ride because I've got the uh, bench rest, but more from an aesthetic perspective. And then I think this this rifle will be essentially complete. Um, I'm super happy with it so far visually. Um, I have had other options to explore, maybe getting a laminate. Um, grip along with a laminate cheek piece and a, lam and a laminate uh, um, back butt piece over here but uh, I don't know I don't know if it will quite suit the, the, the look I've gone for with this impact it's definitely gone the tactical route and I think so far so good and I'm super happy with it um, well that's it for pimp my impact um, hopefully you've liked today's video if you have please like and subscribe um i'll be back with some more exciting videos very very soon but in the meantime thank you for watching take care and see you all very very soon thank you very much